If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. Rockstar has once again got themselves in this stupid little loop of drama with uh, their parent company, Take-Two Interactive. Many fans of the Grand Theft Auto series know the big titles like San Andreas, GTA 5, 4, but what people usually forget is that GTA 1 and 2 were a thing. Obviously, yes, they were a thing. And that GTA 1 specifically wasn't actually made by Rockstar Games. They did not exist at the time that Grand Theft Auto came out. The company, after making GTA 1 and 2, I believe, sold the rights to the, a company which started continuing the Grand Theft Auto series, which I think became Rockstar Games themselves. I don't know the whole history. It's not that important, but what is that recently happened is important and is quite saddening to hear. The original Grand Theft Auto game was made by a company called DMA Designs, and one of the founders for that game, Mike Daly, was one of the biggest and probably one of the most known creators around the original Grand Theft Auto game for DMA Design. So he doesn't technically own the Grand Theft Auto game anymore. He, you know, that was sold off to Rockstar, whatever company, years and years ago. Like I said, I don't know the history of it, but he is one of the original creators of the Grand Theft Auto series. And recently, he's been releasing some prototype footage on what the original Grand Theft Auto game may or may not have looked like. I'm not really sure what it was, what the video was actually about, because it has since been taken down by Take Two Interactive, copyright striking him. Mike Daly was definitely very, very frustrated. A game that he created 28 years ago, yes, 1994, almost three decades old, Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive are taking his videos down. After videos were taken down, Mike Daly was obviously very frustrated and said with a tweet, I see Rockstar going full efforts mode again, issuing copyright strikes to any GTA video that they can find, including both my prototype videos. So now they're trying to block all release of anyone's work on the game and any old development footage. Rockstar has every right, well I should say more take two, has every right to be able to do this, but that still does not make it right at all that they are doing this. The man worked on that project and gave his blood, sweat, tears into the project 30, almost 30 years ago and created what you make billions of dollars off of today. And it's not like he's making a new GTA game or that he's slandering the GTA name. He's simply just showing really, really old footage of what it could have been. A great way to explain this is that if Michael Jordan decided to videotape one of his basketball practices from 30 or 40 years ago and then release it on the news and the Chicago Bulls organization or owner saying, hey, you got to take that down. You don't belong here anymore. You know, that's not that's not your footage to, to release to the world, even though that was his practice, his camera, his whatever, him playing basketball or whatever. They probably would have every right to, but it's still just really dumb. What harm does it make from footage from 30 years ago to harm you today in the billions and billions and billions of dollars you make? I, I just don't understand it. I guess Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive will do anything to protect their, their little prodigy child, Grand Theft Auto, which they do own, yes, and they do have the right to do that, but... The, the, the extreme lengths that they're going to to protect it here or to do whatever, I, I don't even understand at this point, is just really, really extreme and is honestly completely unnecessary. I remember a couple years or a few years back, people who are uh, a big fan group was recreating the bully game, doing a whole remaster or making like a bully sequel game, and they were using the likes and names that were once in the Rockstar game bully and that was a good reason to get taken down because they were technically making a sequel off what they made but this man here showing off old footage i i don't see the big deal on it but i would like to hear you guys thoughts below with a comment let me know how you guys feel about this and uh yeah please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications i'll see you guys in the next one peace